welcome to another video by Clearview Systems. In this video, we're going to create a customer profile and show you how to attach an ID to it. So let's begin by clicking on the customer's module. And up on the toolbar, you should click on New. Now we can fill in the information of our new customer. Let's assume this customer does not work for the organization. Therefore, you can leave this section blank. Let's begin to fill in the fields. If your customer has a middle name, include that in the first names field here. For the group and type option here, this is mainly for organizational purposes. Say if you wanted to see a specific value transaction for a specific group, this option will help with that. So let's create a group type for this person. Once you click on the group type, you can customize the type of group that you're adding. So let's add one here. And click Save. And you should see it displayed here. We're going to assume that this person does not work for a corporate entity. If they did, however, do include that here. So I'm just going to continue and fill in the rest of the fields. For the date of birth, the order of operation will be month, day, and year. Notice how the date of birth automatically formats it for you. Next, let's attach the picture ID to this customer. So up on the right hand corner here, you will see multiple tabs. Make sure you're on the picture IDs tab. And we're going to make a picture ID template. So click on that. We're going to click on create new template for this person. So we're going to call this a Canadian driver's license. And then in the next tab, you should click on whatever suits that specific customer's ID and a description and click on save. For now, just click on ignore and continue. Now you should see this pop up on your template page. Click on that option and say pick. Now you should see it pop up up here. Now before we continue here, make sure to have scanned and uploaded your customer ID into the folder you had created in your client preferences. Once you do that, it should appear in this drop down menu here. Click on it and it should appear in this box below. Another option is to click on browse and find the file that way. However, sometimes it's just easier to do it this way. Now let's edit the customer ID card. You can either click on edit or the image itself and this screen will pop up. First, we'll need to minimize this photo. So let's do that. Notice how on the left hand side here, we have this toolbar. So first, I'm going to reduce the size of this image. And now you also have the option to just clean it up a bit by clicking on these crop arrows here. And here you can say low JPEG, medium JPEG or high. For our purposes, we're just going to say low just to get it as low as possible. So once you're done here, continue to fill in the fields of the customer. So once this is complete, just click on Save Changes and Return to Profile. Now we can continue to fill in the fields. Once we've done this, we're going to need to archive this picture. This will remove it from our drop down list so we don't select it again when the next customer comes in. And click on Move and Rename. Notice whatever we had filled in when we edited our ID is now completed here. And now you can fill in the rest of the form. Anything you see with an underline is clickable and will give you an option of 
will give you a variety of options to click from. So you can either search it through here or type it in yourself. So for example, for country, I want Canada and Canada should appear and click on pick. And here below, please make sure to fill in the nationality and birth of country, the country of residence, and the country of citizenship. And now you have completed adding a new customer to your system. So all we're going to do here now is click on save. Now on your form, you should be able to see the new customer that you have just added. Thank you very much and see you guys in the next video.